Hello friends and welcome back or welcome to Venice Sports Shack and welcome back to another episode of Wing It Wednesday, my favorite episode. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Kurt Card Kurt's Card Care and how it reminds me of Vegas. So as always, stand up, stretch out, because away we go. All right, guys, I got a couple stories for you today um, about Vegas and how they remind me of Kurt's Card Care. But before we get to it, I wanted to uh, go over the contest. March contest. One to three hundred. It's for the seventy-nine pack. Comment down below. One to three hundred. Closest to the number without going over wins the pack. The two thousand subscribers. One to two thousand. We'll have to scramble that out. I know it's been like a year, but uh, comment down below. One to two thousand for the box of Stadium Club football. I want to give this away. It's been sitting here forever. So that brings me to. Uh, follow that like button like you do your sports cards and hit the subscribe button. Get me an algorithm. Uh, finally, Trevor Lawrence, we'll go ahead and give this away. A few people have guessed, so, uh, this is the one that's autographed by me. So, if you picked 67, or the closest to 67 without going over, comment down below that you're the winner. And then I'll have you get a hold of me on Instagram. And we'll figure out where that goes. Um, also, I want to say thanks to everybody. I just should have done this Monday. But uh, I get busy and I'm old and tired. Uh, thanks to everybody who came and see me in Fort Wayne. A couple of you, I appreciate it. Uh, the regulars. Um, I have no show. This is one reason I forgot Monday. I have no show this weekend. Not going anywhere. Uh... March 23rd, I'll be up in Lansing. I do have a change of venue. I was going to go to Terre Haute. I think it's the 4th, 5th, and 6th. Uh, but I am not going to Terre Haute. I've checked in. Hotels, they have a lot of stuff going down in Terre Haute. It's the Eclipse that weekend. They've got some big thing at uh, Indiana State. Something else. Hotels are real, uh, outrageous. So I am not going to go down to Terre Haute for a three-day show and spend uh, seven, eight hundred dollars in the hotels. But I am gonna go, I believe, to Xenia, Ohio, April fifth. I'll update you for uh, sure on that. And then April twelfth, I will be back in Fort Wayne. Starting uh, in May, the first weekend, I will be back doing South Bend while they're in the. Fairgrounds. They have two this summer, and then in the fall, they're going to go to a big warehouse. When they get in the bigger venue, I'll start doing that one monthly, or at least every other month. But, as always, let's get to the topic. Kurt's Card Care. I've been watching a lot of stuff on Kurt's Card Care lately. Of course, it's been uh, running around the hobby. And I gave my point of view months ago, what I think of it, what you should do. Um, but I wanted to... Uh, Talk about a couple things. I know I brought up Vegas the other day, so I wanted to tell a couple stories. Um, after I was uh, had those beers with iced tea, uh, I stuck had a couple more, and I wandered off, uh, caught up with my buddies, and we're out walking around um, Caesar's Palace. Big group of people coming, coming at us with. Uh, Guards they had on these white jack or red jackets and walking around this guy and the taxi guy pulls up and's like that's Wayne Newton and all you other, older guys know Wayne Newton Mr. Las Vegas so I wanted to go see Wayne Newton so I uh, dodging his trying to dodge all these people and then dodge his gardening so I can go in and shake hands with Wayne Newton I think you know just out in public you can shake his hand. But, five foot from Wayne Newton, I get jumped, pummeled, ba -ba 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 by about ten guards. And uh, they get me up, pat me down, make sure I ain't got nothing, and Wayne Newton's like six foot five. He looks down, and, you okay, son? 
Yeah, I just wanted to shake your hand, sir. He was like, well, you know, that wasn't a good idea. You should have just said, hey, I want to say hi to Mr. Newton, and they would have let you through. <laughs> so, sometimes when you get ideas in your head, remember, they're not always good ideas. A uh, couple days later, I'm uh, in Vegas. I went to Vegas. We stayed seven days. You ever go to seven days in Vegas? You'll understand this story and why I was where I was. I'm in the Keno room playing $5.25 Keno about the sixth day in. Um, and Keno, it takes an hour and 10 minutes for that game to roll. You pay five bucks, $5.25. This was back in 2006, so $5.25. No one plays Keno, but they still have two waitresses, and in Vegas, your alcohol is free. So if you want a drink, Seven days in, you're broke, go play Keno, you'll drink for free. Anyhow, back to the story. I'm sitting there watching the balls roll, and this old gentleman comes up to me and is like, Hey, can I borrow five dollars? Right at first, I didn't think anything of it, you know. Sure, old man, five bucks. An hour and ten minutes later, old man rolls up on me again. Hey. Can I borrow five dollars? No, man, I'm broke. I've been here seven days. <laughs> so I go up, cash in my keto thing, and he's like, hey, that old man back here asked, asked me for five dollars. I gave it to him once, and he asked again. Code 17496174. The walls open in the keto room. I'll jump these men in red jackets, grab this old man, and drag him. I didn't know this. This was my first time in Vegas. You don't beg in Vegas. <laughs> that old man should have known it wasn't a good idea to beg in Vegas. But this all brings me to Kurt's Card Care. Using Kurt's Card Care on your cards, his kit, you do what you want. Doesn't mean it's a good idea. I said this in my video months ago. In 10 or 15 years, when you guys grow up and you look back and the card markets change and Tops or Fanini or Fanatic, Panini or Fanatics or PSA or whoever changes the rules, those cards are going to be worthless. They always got to change stuff to make things new, to make things exciting. That's what I told you. The sports card hobby is a long-running joke. They're always changing stuff on you to make something, make you feel like something's better. We're going to put holograms on them. We're going to uh, put numbers on them. We're going to put their jerseys pads on them. We're going to put their pro debut patch. What, five years? What are they going to do? We're going to uh, vial of blood. We're going to put that in the card. Their fingerprints, their... So it's always changing. So is using Kurt's card care a good idea? I don't think it is. I think you guys that are using it are hurting the hobby as a whole. Because you're going to look back and you're going to say, hey, that's altering. Opinions change over time. What you think at 25, you're not going to think at 40. You're not going to think at 50. You're not going to think at 60 that it's okay. You're going to grow up. You're going to mature. And all you jackbags out there that are adults, 40s and 50s and doing it, or you're just scumbags. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Peace. Have a super great day. Why did you come here?
depths of the sea. Back to the black Snoop Doggy Dog. Monkey at the, the, the dock. Went solo on that ass, but it's still the same. Long Beach is the spot where I serve my candy. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, but don't lose your grip. Nine trips ain't they just there for me to fuck up shit. So I ain't holding good. Back in motherfucker, I got five on the twenties. Track just like that, and as a matter of fact, check, check, check. Cause I never has a nigga for a nigga on his back. Yeah, so you got the manuscript. You see that it's a must be track. What's the motherfucking name? To the wild, creeping and crawling, you get your show, then Snoop Doggy Dog in the motherfucking house like every day, dropping shit with my nigga Mr. Dr. Drake, like I said, you just can't fuck with this, and you just can't fuck with that, shit that I drop, cause you know it don't stop, Mr. One Nick's up on the motherfucking top, tick tock, now what I got, just some nuts in the top, robbing motherfuckers, and I kill them blood cops, and I step through the fog, and I creep through the small, cause I'm Snoop Doggy, 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 oh. My shit's on hit legit, now I'm on parole, stroke. Put the dog pound right behind me and up in your bitch. Is where you might find me laying that, playing that cheap thing. She wants the nigga with the biggest nuts. And guess what? He is I and I am him. Slim with the tilted grin. What's my motherfucking name? <laughs> 